Introduction Routine medical checkup is going on at current school. His teacher makes all the students of the class stand in the decreasing order of their heights. Karan wants to know if numbers can be arranged in a similar manner. He also wants to know if the arrangement can be reversed. In this lesson, you will learn to expand, arrange and identify numbers. Grouping Objects Look at this bunch of flowers. There are 10 flowers in the bunch. We can make two groups, each consisting of five flowers. Look at this bundle of sticks. There are 12 sticks in the bundle. To make four groups, each bundle will have three sticks. We can similarly group other objects. Two digit numbers. The numbers from 1 to 9 have only one digit each. Therefore, they are called single digit numbers. The numbers from 10 to 99 have two digits each. Therefore, they are called two digit or double digit numbers. Place values. Single digits numbers have only one digit at the ones place. Two digit numbers have one digit at the ones place and another at the tens place. Number 5 has only one digit 5. It is at the ones place. Number 47 has two digits 4 and 7. 7 is at the ones place and 4 is at the tens place. Expansion of numbers. Let us break two digit numbers into tens and ones. 56 can be written as 50 plus 6. It means there are 5 tens and 6 ones in 56. Similarly, 39 can be written as 30 plus 9. It means there are 3 tens and 9 ones in 39. Ascending and Descending Orders Mohit's father climbed up the ladder to search for a book in the attic. He moved up from step 1 to step 2 to step 3 till step 10. He found the book. He climbed down the ladder from step 10 to step 9 to step 8 till step 1. Numbers can also be arranged in a similar way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Arrangement of numbers from the smallest to the largest is called ascending order. Arrangement of numbers from the largest to the smallest is called descending order. Greatest and smallest one or two digit numbers. The last one digit number is nine. It is the greatest one digit number. The first two digit number is ten. It is the smallest two digit number. The last two digit number is 99. It is the greatest two digit number. Ordial numbers. Words like first, second, third, etc. are used to indicate positions. Such numbers are called ordial numbers. There are 20 students in a class. Ayush's name is written 
first in the attendance register. Dhruv's name comes second. Seema's name is at the tenth position. Three digit numbers. Numbers that have three digits in them are called three digit numbers. Hundred is the first three digit number. It is the smallest three digit number. 999 is the last three digit number. Therefore, it is the largest three digit number. All the numbers between 100 and 999 are three digit numbers. 100 on abacus. Look at this abacus. It has three strings. Each string represents a position. The rightmost string represents the ones place, the next the tens place, and the leftmost the hundreds place. The beads in each string represent the value at each position. There are three beads in the hundred string, five in the tens string, and four in the ones string. The number represents by the abacus is. 300 plus 50 plus 4, which is equal to 354. Expansion of numbers. Let us break two digit numbers into tens and ones. 56 can be written as 50 plus 6. It means there are 5 tens and 6 ones. In 56. Similarly, 39 can be written as 30 plus 9. It means there are 3 tens and 9 ones in 39. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. 9 is the largest one-digit number. 10 is the smallest two-digit number. 99 is the largest two-digit number. 100 is the smallest three-digit number. 999 is the largest three-digit number. Arrangement of numbers from the smallest to the largest is called Ascending order. Arrangement of numbers from the largest to the smallest is called descending order. Audial numbers are used to indicate position.